Oh! Big Ounce doesn't mind himself with the affairs of adorable chicks. What a handsome man! Oh. Their survival rate is about 43%. Stop commenting that, you guys! Check this out, you guys. Check this out. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Welcome back to the Urban Rescue Ranch. As you can see, Big Ounce here is the protector of this land. He's protecting these adorable babies. I think they're more scared of me than they are of him. Look at this adorable man chewing. I think this little boy's been getting into fights with the little girl. You get one nugget, take the nugget. Okay, let's see how he interacts with these little babies. Little Plappa here is doing really well. She likes to eat her little munchies. And while she does that, I'll scratch her in the ears and slowly she warms up to me through this. As you can see, even though she bites me any chance she can get, she really loves to be scratched. And I'm hoping that eventually after doing this long enough, she'll stop biting me and she'll start being friendly with me. Her and Big Ounce both have little things on their nose here. It looks like they've been kind of fighting each other for food. So now every time I feed them, I have to separate them. The chicks are doing very well. They've gotten a lot more comfortable. And this little guy likes to run up and interact with them. Look, he's trying to peck at his food. Look at that. Oh, Big Ounce doesn't mind himself with the affairs of adorable chicks. But we're gonna go ahead and put you right here on your blankie, sir. This is his little blankie. This is where he likes to burrow and hang out. And these babies here are doing okay. We got the two at-risk baby boys here together. I put this special padding on the ground, this rubber non-slip stuff, because it's easier for them to walk on it. Look at this little man. Most of these guys are born with curled toes. You see that? And these baby Rhea actually have a really, really high mortality rate. Even under ideal circumstances, their survival rate is about 43%. So I don't want to get you guys hopes up too much, but this is another little adorable baby Kevin that we're taking care of. Spending a lot of time supervising him, making sure that he knows how to eat and how to drink. And it would seem that we have another little baby boy over here hatching out of this egg. And even hear him whistling. This egg will kind of shake every now and then. I'm gonna try and get as much of this on camera as I can for you guys, because I've never been able to do that before. Also, we got some eggs from Morgan Gold, from Goldshaw Farm. Now, these were sent right away. Thank you so much, Morgan. We love you, we appreciate you. I can't wait to come up there and collab with you, sir. One little downside to having prairie dogs, you guys, is that they will chew through anything. And I really mean, anything so really we can only let them out whenever they're being supervised but these guys are actually here in my bedroom so i get to sleep with them every night because we don't have much space here at the new urban rescue ranch and i've gone ahead and canceled most of my weekend appointments because i want these guys to have the highest chance of survival as humanly possible or i guess i should say as really possible <laughs> And the wind was bad, but boy, oh boy, is it a beautiful day here out in the Urban Rescue Ranch. Take a look at this, you guys. As you can see, we got a little bit of grass and the leaves are starting to come back in. Look at these beautiful leaves, you guys. Just take a look at that. Donald Trump here has been grazing on all the grass. He took a little poop right there, as you can see. Time to start overseeding with Bermuda. And this week, I'm going to get some sod laid down in the front. Devin's looking happy and healthy, as always. Take a look at this man. Really good theft deterrent. And look at Kyle, wow, he's fluffing up today too. He's a beautiful little man. Honestly, Kyle is just better than Kevin in every possible way. Look at this beautiful boy. Kevin, you're so hilariously replaceable, it's not even funny. You guys remember the good old days when Kevin would attack my, oh, attack my window in Austin? What a beautiful, oh, he got me there. I will say this though, Kevin is a handsome boy and he does have very beautiful, beautiful eyes. Take a look at these beautiful eyes, you guys. If I do this, Kevin can't bite me and it kind of makes him go comatose. Look how Karen's just like, hello, sir, how are you today? While well, Kevin's just being grabbed. But good morning, good morning. Here's your scoop of the day, everyone. <laughs> While he's distracted with that, I'll give them some in there as well. I'm giving Karen a little bit extra here because I wanted to lay some more eggs so we can take them to the farmer's market. Little baby Boo here has been hanging out with his mom a lot, but for some reason he never really goes inside. She's always in there. The wind was still really bad, but look at this adorable baby boy. He's so handsome and big now. When you put him outside, they grow their feathers in really quick. So I went ahead and picked him up and put him in here with his mother, just so you guys can see the relationship they have now. Look at that. They love each other. Take a look at this, you guys. Here's some good old eggs. Good old call duck eggs right here. I'm gonna need to go ahead and put that back up so the animals don't keep escaping. The I.M. Chamani hens are doing really well. Let's check their little, oh my gosh. 
That's why they're not laying in there. And why do these eggs have this nasty goo on them, you guys? Do you guys have any idea why? You guys know why they got this nasty goo on them? I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here. That way they know to keep laying eggs in the box. I really don't want them to be laying eggs outside of the box because they could get rained on here. I'm gonna keep checking the spot, but this is where the eggs need to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some food in here for them. That should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and put some food in here so they see all their eggs in there. It's a way of showing them, okay, that's where all of our eggs are, right in there. But man, does this stuff keep getting expensive and man, do they keep eating it. Looks like these boys have the same issue over here, only these ones are a lot cleaner because this really is covered by the shade. Okay, that's good for now. I'm gonna go ahead and put some food in there again. I'm gonna keep these to eat. Looks like they laid a little dud egg here. Look at that. Mind my long nails, you guys. Okay, so now that there's food in here, they're gonna walk in here, they're gonna look over this way and they're gonna be like, oh, there's our eggs. <laughs> As you can see, Kevin still tries to kill me when I walk through this gate. I went ahead and closed that up. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist a baby? Are you coming on to me, sir? It's a baby. You have a wife and kids. What about your daughters? All right, children, calm down. Calm down here. Have a bite of this egg. Here you go, kids. Have an egg. This egg is food, Petunia. Oh, there she goes. And I'm keeping this little guy for fun. I'm going to sell this at the farmer's market. Look, he's eating it. He's eating it right under their noses. They don't even know. They don't even know. It's real nice protein for these boys, and these guys don't even know. They don't have any idea that Petunia's munching down right now. The baby knocked this feed over the other day, which is really annoying but now he's got plenty of food here and then all this grass is food for him and what's fun is when i come back here he likes to just follow me around all day usually just like how kevin does but only in a less evil and maniacal way Ooh, but look at this baby boy put my special egg right here and don't worry guys your food's coming your food's coming gonna be like that paul kafringus guy for a minute and go eat <laughs> oh no to baby no I don't even want him to know that there's stuff in here. No, you got tons of food in the barn that you could go to whenever you want from here, sir. Go hop back to the barn. The baby eats special Missouri kangaroo feed formulated specifically for these kangaroo boys. You got your own special feed to baby. Your own special feed, okay? Now well, take a look at this wide angle lens, you guys. It's still nice and clear. Whoa. 4K Ultra HD battles in wide angle lens. Urban Rescue Ranch, uh, Mr. Beast, James Charles. Mr. Beast, $10,000. James Charles? You're not gonna kick me, are you, DaBaby? You gonna try and kick me, DaBaby? Oh! Oh, there he is. There he is. This is a little, a little happy boy. A little happy, playful, hungry man. Well, Kevin's over there wishing he could do this. I'm over here just enjoying some one-on-one -on -one time with my beautiful son, who is going to be fighting Jake Paul in the ring in 2023. December, year-end 2023, Jake Paul is going to fight the baby. He's going to be at least 100 more pounds than this, and I'm going to be at least 100 more pounds than this, because if you follow my Instagram, you know I'm trying to get bigger than my friend Charlie, who is 290 pounds and seven feet tall. I'm going to be way bigger than both of them very, very soon. Oh, man, he landed one, right? Right there. Ooh, oh, my fly's down. He's getting big. <laughs> what a handsome man. Oh, oh, he landed one right there, didn't he? This kangaroo cured my depression. Guys, look at Queen just kind of trotting over here. She's so happy and cute. Look at her just kind of walking on over here. The baby's like, someone comes. Back to fighting. Oh, it's just Queen. Back to fighting. Aww. Oh, you guys are commenting. Oh, the baby's gonna kill Queen and he's gonna drown her. You really think this guy has the mental capacity to be like, oh, if I put something underwater for an extended period of time, I can suffocate it. You guys really think that this little man here has the mental capacity to be like, oh, if I just do this, I can drown a creature by asphyxiating it. Some of you fellas might be like, oh, well, Ben, do you think a snake has a capacity to be like, oh, I'm gonna asphyxiate something and eat it. That's its primary function and means of getting food. So so of course it knows how it doesn't need to cognitively think about how to do that. It's not this guy's primary function and means of getting food to drown a dog. That's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So stop commenting that, you guys. Go ahead, kick it. Go ahead. <laughs> See, this is my favorite little man. This is my favorite little part about the Urban Rescue Ranch here so far. So far, you guys. But take a look at this. I had to discipline Poggers this morning because he ran away and he was way in those woods. Poggers, come here, boy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Good boy. I'm sorry for having to be a little mean to you today, sir. 
This is really like having children, you guys. Poggers is kind of my favorite son, but Queen is definitely my favorite daughter. I really do love this man. He just needs to stop digging out of this place. But look at all this grass, you guys. I am so, so thankful that we are finally at this point. No more nasty winter. No more nasty freezes. No more crack house. No more Fortnite cards. No more tons of trash in here. Just kidding. Here's actually quite a dangerous little piece of trash that I just found. But now there's officially no more trash here, you guys. Thank Hey, it's me editing Ben. The wind was bad again, but I spent about 30 minutes to an hour picking up trash in here with a few people the other day, and we got a lot of it done. There is now no more trash in this area virtually. And the grass and foliage is finally starting to grow back. Oh, here's a little trap. Fun fact, these jaggers here are actually called creepers. <laughs> Named after the Minecraft. Yeah, the baby doesn't really get himself caught in those. He's a good little man, and they got plenty of those creepers in Australia. Look at this man and tell me he's got the mental capacity to drown another being. Oh, maybe he does. Maybe he does. Oh, and Queen's over here looking like Morgan Gold's Toby's long lost sister. But this is what it's all about, you guys. This is what it's all about. Today, I'm going to be checking out the pumpkin patch and we're going to be getting it ready. Somebody reached out to me and said they have 25 Rhode Island red chickens that they seized from an illegal chicken operation that we can get uh, for basically free. And I right now I'm trying to figure out where we could put them. We definitely want to do the pumpkin patch here. But man, oh man, we really have done a lot with this property, you guys, in the last several months. This is one year's worth of work, you guys. One year's worth of work. Queen just started munching on a little piece of grass. So I know I say this a lot, you guys, but I really mean it. Thank you so much for watching my videos. You guys watching this and all you guys supporting us really made all this possible. And although we're still a long ways from being done, we're a heck of a lot further than we were seven months ago. Back when I was finding crack pipes, syringes, and LL Cool J vinyl records in the back. But I really do love and I'm thankful for each and every one of you guys who made this possible. Also, if you're in the Waco area and you want an internship, please reach out to my email. We're getting very, very busy. We need a lot of staff. Uncle Ben can't keep doing all this by himself anymore, you guys. But I love you guys. I appreciate I appreciate you and I pray for you every now and then. So thanks again so much for watching my videos and oh, almost forgot to tell. Ah!